The 33rd and next to the last stop on the Castrol GTX Cup Series season for Season 26 brings us to Phoenix International Raceway as we're here today for the running of the Subway 500. Some of the best subs uh, you'll definitely eat for sure is at Subway. <coughs> but we're here today for 47 laps of racing here today. And the championship battle, well, for the time being at least, it's a 72-point margin between first and second in place in the points, but... Who knows what's going to, how it's going to end up after the, after the 47 laps that will ensue here today. On the pole, however, is not one of the championship contenders, though, but he is fighting for a top five spot in the points, though. Well, both these guys are, as a matter of fact. Zach Rogers on the pole and Kyle Matthews on the outside of the pole, uh, of, the, of the front row of positions here. Zach's won four times this season, and believe it or not, Matthews has not yet won this season, believe it or not. Could he do it today? Well, we'll find out. Um, second row has Joshua Osborne in 31, and second in points, Jessica Shelton on the outside in car number 9, the Coors Light Ford. Third row sees car 21, Quentin Moore, the championship leader, coming in this race, and number 26, Matt McIntyre in the Quaker State Ford. Both these drivers have ca are carrying in-car cameras for today's event, both Quentin and Matt. In fact, Kyle Matthews has our third in-car camera today. Fourth row has Levi McIntyre, who won New Hampshire this season, and beside him will be Keith Badson, who won a second stop, who, who won a second Richmond stop this season. And Badson currently sits right now third in the standings, coming into this race too, as a matter of fact. Going to the next row, he's card number ninety-four, Jesse Turner, and number five, Phil Parker, the Daytona five hundred winner. Here, in fact, Jesse's win came at Daytona, but it was in the Pepsi four hundred. Next row sees car 68, Kev Shear, and 24, Charles Samper, who's, a tw who's won twice this season. Next row is Cole Deaver and number three, the GM Goodman Chevrolet, two-time winner this season, and both of them were at Rockingham. And alongside him, Dylan Young in car number two, the Miller Genuine Draft Ford. Next row is car number 52, Seth Cole, and number 25, Benjamin Miles. Next row has number 20, Mitchell Collins, a great qualifying run for him. And number 30, it is Jay Jefferson. Next row, Johnny Gardner in car number 8, the winner this season of the first race at Bristol. And Ryan Broward, a Coca Cola 600 winner in Charlotte this season in the Phillips 66 Trump Arctic uh, Ford car number 66. Try to get that all that out of one breath. <laughs> Next row is car number 4, William Brock in car number 14. It is Ryan George. Then it's Jackson Haywood in 15 and Dylan Poteet in 22. He also has the same number next season, but with Caterpillar as a sponsor and it's on a Dodge. Next row, car number 12, Rob Evans, and number 75, Laura Chung. Next row has card number 27, Kat Batson, who won the first Darlington stop this season. <clears throat> and, the night, and the Bristol Night Race winner this season, it is Nathan Hudson in 55. Next row has number 7, Christian Russell, who won a second Martinsville stop this season. And, and beside him, number 6, Nathan Orman in the Valvoline Ford. Next row is car number 70, Ray Boyd Brummer, and number 71, it is Gene, it is Henry, or should I say Henry Sanford. Next row is Jack, Zachary Fitzwater in 29, and Mike Becker in 43. Then next row after that would be car 98, Gene Sanford, and number 18, Matt Haas. Next row is car number 90, Jordan Anderson, and in a in in 10 car of Paul Minnick, who won a second Charlotte stop this season, the Melly Yellow 500. Next row has Alex Miller in 83, and, Alex Gar and Adam Garcia in number 11. And starting shotgun to field be car number 33, Jacob Thibodeau in a Skull Bandit Oldsmobile. <coughs> Excuse me. So, <coughs> going to be interesting race to see what happens here today. Here, 47 laps of action here. Point spread is 72 points between the front two cars here for the championship now. Of course, um, both Shelton and... Um, and um, Quentin Moore both had um, problems at um, Rockingham. Well, Quentin didn't have any problems at all. He just fell back, back to about 30th position. Shelton, however, blew up at Rockingham and finished dead last in that race. So, Shelton was going to save with Quentin Moore not having a good finish than he, than he could have. So, which keeps her with a kind of a still still with a shot at, the, at, her, at possibly her sixth championship. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens here today here. Uh, Keith Batson, of course, who's in the 28 car, he's kind of nipping at their heels somewhat here, trying to close up, and he helps to close up even more today at Phoenix here. And here comes the starting line for the running. Here comes the starting uh, command to start him up here at Phoenix.
So the pace car is already ducked off on the pit road, though. But the, here, this, this used to be the front stretch at Phoenix, as you well know. But the start finish line is coming off turn number four, almost directly coming off the fourth turn, as a matter of fact. Field is, the field is kind of heading toward it right now, so the field will get the green flag here as, as we'll start the Subway 500. Zach Rogers and Kyle Matthews will lead them down. Green flag is out, and the Subway 500 is underway. Did I mention this track is a little bit wide, too? They are almost four wide coming off that fourth turn. They can get plenty rambunctious here on this track here. And we've seen that, we've seen that a few times here on this track since we, since we started running this version. And my point is... I, I, thought, I thought I heard a crash, but, I, but we didn't, apparently. Zach Rogers led the first lap, but now Joshua Osborne is going to take the lead in car number 31 as he goes through turns... Number one and two here. And up a big problems on the second turn. Ryan George is crashing. Laura Chung upside down in the 75 car. Big time problems for obviously for the Dinner Bell Osmobile. And there is Ryan George in the corn and somebody knocked the cornflakes out of that Chevrolet right there. And it'll be Osborne leading it and let him back to the start finish line, but he has got to catch up, obviously, to the leaders, obviously. Well, there he is. He's going by Levi McIntyre right now. <clears throat> we'll take a look as to what happened to cause the caution, first caution to fly on the second lap of his 47 lap race. And it involved Laura Chung and Ryan George off the fourth turn. They got four wide. You don't squeeze them four wide, wide like this there, obviously. Uh, Wade Brummer in the 70. And um, what am I seeing here? Okay, let me look at the overhead view here. Because I, I cannot be seeing this right. Yes, they are. They are. They are actually five wide in the turn. Four wide right there between the 43, 98, 6, and the 55. And not to mention Jay Jefferson also squeezed there in the 30 car. But it looked like Zachary Fitzwater tapped the 70 car of Wade Brummer. Sent him spinning right in the... And then all the while, Ryan George just tapped right into Laura Chung and sent her upside down. Oh my goodness gracious! And sent Ryan George upside down as well, too, but back up on all four wheels. But the damage done on the 75 car of Laura Chung just absolutely. You think that's scary in slow-mo, though? Watch it real time. That's how quick things can happen on a racetrack like this at Phoenix. <clears throat> but now I saw the 70 and the 7 get uh, into, it, into it with each other. Now let's take a look at what happened to, to them. That's Wade Brummer in the 70 and Christian Russell in the 70. So Russell, of course, was the winner this season at Mart at the second race at Martinsville. How did the 7 and the 70... Um, Got got to get all that together and 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 somehow not spin. That's a, that's amazing right there. <clears throat> Actually, Mike Becker got into Fitzwater and that sent those two, that sent Fitzwater into the seven, which initially caused a crash between the fourteen and the seventy five. But lucky for Christian Russell and Wade Brummer, they both saved their cars, and so at least they get to at least they get to, at least they live to get to get to live the five another lap. But you can't say the same, though, for the um, the 75 car of Laura Chung, who's obviously out of the racer, as is the 14 of Ryan George. He's also out, so 39 cars remain. All 39 of them on the lead lap, obviously, where there's no car lap down. Pace car's already off, off on the pit road. Joshua Osborne's your leader. Second is Zach Rogers. Third is Levi McIntyre. Jessica Shelton runs fourth. Fifth is Kyle Matthews. Fifth is sixth is Quentin Moore. Seventh is Jesse Turner. Eighth is Cav Shear. Ninth is Phil Parker. And Cole Deaver runs in tenth as the green fly flies. We're back underway here at Phoenix.
Three turns, one and two, they go here. They'll go through, they'll go through the, there. McIntyre to the inside of Zach Rogers for second place here. Now Kyle Mendes moves him inside of Jessica Shelton for position here. Matthew, or Matthews usually runs pretty good here at Phoenix. Usually he's won here twice before. You're on board with Kyle Matthews in the number 42, Meliella Pontiac. Currently sits top 10 in the standings coming into this event here, but now he's getting a, now he's getting a, now he's getting a mirror full of, of Quentin Moore in the 21 sit-go car. <coughs> Matthews runs fourth at the moment. Still trying to get by Jessica Shelton in the nine car. As you see, her and Quentin Moore now battling it out. That is the top two of the points coming into this race here. Moore leads by 72. And Jessica, I'm sure, not um, wishing any bad luck on Quentin Moore, but she needs a little bad luck out of Quentin Moore, though, right now. To, ha to have a... Uh, here. I mean, they, if they stay 72 points between each other, though, coming out of Phoenix, that's still going to be a little bit of a... A battle of the points, though, however, and as you see, oh, Jay Jefferson, don't do it! He almost, he almost Kevin LePage right into all those cars coming off pit road. <clears throat> and now he decides to pick on Quentin Moore in the 21 car as he, as he tries to get by Shelton here. Um, Jefferson right now, obviously running 39th at the moment. He is currently now, let's see how many laps down he is. He is two laps down. In 39th position, three wide behind. Charles Sanford trying to make it four wide in the of turn number four. And Porto Jessica Shelton stuck on the outside of the racetrack here as they come off turn number four, or turn number two, I should say. That used to be turn four. <coughs> Top four is pulled away right now, though, however. Quentin Mormon's in fifth position. There you see Phil Parker down the inside and Keith Batson way down inside on uh, Charles Sanford. And Parker's going to get by the 21 and Quentin Moore, or tries to get by the 21 and Quentin Moore, so they go through turns one and two, or tur turns number three and four. Kev Shear gets loose, almost gets into Jesse Turner. Jessica Shelton trying to figure out who she wants to go with. She gets loose off turn number four. Keith Batson down low. Benjamin Miles is in there. Dylan Young, Jackson Haywood, William Brock in the four car. Fit, um, 12 car, Rob Evans, and three wide there between Seth Cole, Cole Deaver, and Matt McIntyre. Oh, they're getting really score. They're getting really spread out right here. Oh my gosh! Off to number four, Brock and Dylan Young almost touched off to number four. Six, a minus is a mess waiting to happen right here. There's they come off to number four. Johnny Garner now tries to move up inside there as he tries to get by. Um, Looks like Matt McIntyre. Yes, it is. He's gets trying to get by him. He's on the back bumper. Seth Cole in the 52 car. We're focusing on this mess of cars right there instead of the leaders right now. Leader still continues to be Joshua Osborne in 31. And Seth Cole way down the inside of, of Rob Evans, Jackson Haywood, and Dylan Young in third turns number one and two. And Cole Deaver showing some horsepower at number three. Good wrench Chevy that he's going he's obviously going to keep a sponsor and number in the manufacturer next season. And, but with a different paint scheme on that, on that machine as they go through turns one and two. Cab Shear gets loose trying to get trying to get past Jessica Shelton meantime. And now Johnny Gardner tries to peek inside a cold Deaver's car. No no dice and Deaver. <laughs> I thought Deaver had lost to come off turn number two and was gonna spin that car and then saves it. And now Cat Batson, Christian Russell, Dylan Pote, and I think that's that Mitchell Collins in the 20 car. Yes, it is. And they're four wide in the turn number one. That's not a good idea, guys. In the turn number Nathan Orman gets right into Jack in the William Brock. No, he taps right. He taps the 20 car of, of Mitchell Collins. They're going through, come up to number four here. And keep on that number 90 car, Jordan Anderson down the inside. Let me check the Holland Myers Ford. 
Henry Sabres in there. Matt Haas, Gene Sanford. Adam Garcia in the 11 car. He had a couple, he had a couple of fifth place finishes in the season and a second in the Daytona 500. <coughs> Has had flashes of good runs in this series, though, but. So you have to get, yeah, still got to get that first win here. Now Alex Norris now in this mix in the 83 car who nearly won at Charlotte this season in the, in the Melly Yellow 500. Well, these cars I think like to get a little bit tail happy off the second and fourth corners both. And now things are starting to settle down just a little bit now as they come off turn number four. But boy, oh boy, was some, that was some good, that was some racing here. Meantime, battle for second place between a couple of, of Buckeyes here. Levi McIntyre in the 17 and Kyle Matthews in the 42. I, I call them Buckeyes because they're both from Ohio. And throws Zach Rogers in his mix here. Again, the 30 car, Jay Jefferson, not on the lead lap. Two laps down in 39 is where he's running right now in the Pennzoil Pontiac. As Joshua Osborne, who won the first stop, stop at Dover this season, earlier in the season, is still leading him down. Osborne and uh, McIntyre both looking for their second victories of the season. McIntyre, we mentioned, won in New Hampshire. Osborne won the first stop at Dover. Quentin Moore, or I should say uh, Phil Parker in the five car goes by the 30 car. Parker's car's going to have Quaker State next season on, on, on his number five Levi, on his number five Chevrolet. In the meantime, for Zach Rogers, his car's going to be his race car number is going to be number six. It's going to be a Dodge, and it's going to have Burger King as a sponsor next season on his car. <coughs> so Jefferson's now being passed by folk, by both Phil Parker and Quentin Moore. Now Quentin goes inside of Parker for fit, for fifth position. He'll take that spot away here. Now Keith Batson gets into the mix now in the 28 Texaco Havlin car. He's still going to be, he's still obviously, obviously knowing Batson, his cars are going to be Fords next season, obviously him and Cat both. But Cat's going to have number 70 and, Kate, and Keith's going to have number 39. It's going to have Nap Auto Parts as a sponsor on his machine for the for season 27. Benjamin Miles, not sure what car he'll, he'll probably have there. Same with Charles Sanford and Jessica Shelton. Not sure what cars they'll they'll have if they want to if they um, choose to return next season. And obviously, still same uncertainty. Obviously for uh, Kyle Matthews as well too in the forty two machine. Not sure what numbers Matthews probably may may want though. He sometimes he wants the forty two and sometimes he likes the 09 Sometimes you know so knowing him. If you watch some of the Snick, the uh, Duracell Cup races that Seth Cole does in a series, and Matthews' number sometimes it's 39, or I, I mean 09, excuse me. Sanford will have 03, and Shelton would have 02 as the numbers on their cars both. And some of you know Jessica Shelton is only a Bill Elliott and Chase Elliott fan, though. Well, she does like a few other drivers, too, that she's liked in her, in her lifetime, so... So don't misunderstand her at all. Um, as we go through, uh, as we look in the middle of the pack here, Jesse Turner, Seth Cole, Johnny Gardner, Kev Shearer, and Jackson Haywood is mixing the cars right there. Cole De Deaver right now running in the 16th position. Matt McIntyre 17th. 18th is is Cat Badson. She'll have the number 70 car next season, and it's going to be a Ford. Christian Russell in the seven in the seven car here. Not sure what his plans are for next season. Dylan Pote is going to have number twenty two Caterpillar Dodge next season on his car. Nice paint scheme, I believe he's going to have too on his machine. You'll see the number two. You'll see the number two car, Dylan Young, once again next season. His car will be Miller Light and Wawa next season. <coughs> 
And for those you know, for those you don't know what Wawa is, it's kind of a gas station slash grocery place is what it kind of is. And I don't know if that's uh, prevalent in the Florida area where he's from. But anyway. Meantime, uh, Zach Rogers dips way down on the right inside here. Levi McIntyre just lost second place and maybe and also third too, but tries to gain back third from Kyle Matthews. Is now Quentin Moore tries to follow through. And I think Quentin Moore's already points later has gotten spot. And a lot of cars damaged up here. A mess on the front stretch. Kev Shears involved. Nathan Orman. Dylan Young. Alex Miller's involved. Jacob Thibodeau. Keith Batson in there. He's third in the points. He's damaged up. Fitzwater's involved. Oh, and Kev Shears having a darn good run in a 68 car. But Quentin Moore got turned by Jay Jefferson, coming off turn number two. And pretty much caused a melee here. Quentin was running in fifth position when this, uh, when this all happened, too. Let's see what happened as they come off turn number two. Yep, there it is. Jefferson's going to give Quentin a bit of a nudge right there in that 21 car. Turns him around. <clears throat> Let's see what happened right there. Keith Batson's going to get involved in that 28 car. I'm not sure who he hit there. There's there, And Jefferson goes right into the Phil Parker in the 5 car. That's going to send Phil around right into the wall right there. Question is, how much damage did Quentin Moore get there? There's Charles Hammer. He's, he's, he's going to get turned right there. Jessica Shelton escapes the whole deal, so she's okay. And everybody's going to get gonna hit right there. There's Keith getting hit by Dylan Young. Several cars right there. Uh, Poti, I think, is going to escape, too. So Quentin, I think, is gonna is gonna escape with hardly any damage, if little at all. But here comes everybody else is gonna pile right into each other. Whew. Alex Miller about got flipped over by the seventy car of um of um Wade Brummer. Well, we had an in-car camera with Quentin Moore on what happened here in this whole deal. You know, let's take a ride with him. And I see a little back end damage on the 21 sit go forward here as well, too. Well, the incident dropped Quentin Moore back to 14th position in this race here. So uh, he hopes that the damage does not hinder him a bit here at all there. But anyway, so the car's out of the race because of that crash here. Let's take a look, let's take a look and see here. Jordan Anderson's out of the race. So is uh, Nathan Orman is out of the race. So is Dylan Young. Keith Batson, third in the standings here. He's out of the race. That's gonna, that's pretty much gonna kill his championship chances right there. Uh, Zachary Fitzwater, Kev Sh Shears out of the race, as is adding on to Ryan George and Laura Chung. Again, the 30 car is on the inside. He is two laps down. That is Jay Jefferson in the Pennzoil Pontiac here, and so 32 cars remain on the lead lap. Joshua Osborne leads. Second position is, is Dylan is Zach Rogers. Then Kyle Matthews, Levi McIntyre, and Jessica Shelton in fifth position is the green flag. Plus we're back on our way here at Phoenix. Lap number thirty lap number thirty-five. 
And we are closing up on 10 to go here. We'll have 10 to go and maybe a couple of more laps or so. We are at, we're at 13 to go right now. Jay Jefferson on the ins on the outside there again. Again, trying to get one of his laps back, though. But he don't have very far to go here. Kyle Matthews with a power move to take, to take second position away from, from Matthews and, or I should say, from McIntyre and Rogers both. <coughs> Matthews trying to use Jay Jefferson as kind of a drafting partner here, but Jefferson's car is a little bit slow here. Matthews hopes to get by him quickly. If he hopes to get past, have any chance of catching Joshua Osborne as they go through turns one and two. Matthews to the low side. Jefferson on the high side of the track. <coughs> Zach Rogers down the low side. Tries to take third spot from Levi McIntyre. Three wide off turn number two. That's where, all the, action's been. That's where the action's been today here. Come off that second corner. And McIntyre will get by Rogers, and now Seth Cole gets into this mix down the 52 machine. Johnny Gardner up to sixth position. Battle for seven between Haywood and Shelton. Alex Miller now coming back on the racetrack in the 38 and the 83 cars. He as he comes back alongside and right in front of the 94 Jesse Turner. Miller is 32nd in the in the field right now. He is he is as Jefferson I think is going to pick up a spot. Ten laps to go here at Phoenix. <coughs> and boy, Quentin Moore right in a very vulnerable position right there in the 21 cars he's, as he's trying to fight his way through traffic. Moore running right now in the 16th position, but he's on a high. He's caught up on the high side right now. He is going to lose. He's, he's, he's dropping spots like crazy. Meantime, where's Shelton? You ask. She is running right where she's at right now. She's running. She, she's running. She's at, she's staying out of trouble right now. She's in ninth position right now. Remember, as I said, she came in. She came in this race 72 points behind Moore coming in this coming in this race. though, and she she stands to. Cut in the Quentin's lead and the points coming going in the homestead, which is which is the last race, which is the next and last race on the schedule. And battle for the lead developing Joshua Osborne versus Kyle Matthews. Three turns one and two they go. They're coming up now on seven on six laps remaining. McIntyre dives low in the track here. He finishes. He finishes. Tries to finish the pass on Kyle Matthews right here as they come off turn number two and now into turn three. Side by side between the second and third place cars here. Zach Rogers gets thrown into this mix. Osborne is looking in the rearview mirror saying, saying, go ahead, battle back. guys are going to take off and win this thing here, maybe. But. Still got five laps remaining, though, so, and anything and anything can happen in those last five laps. But McIntyre is closing up there. Levi McIntyre in seventeen here, the Western Auto Chevrolet. He's going to be a, he's going to drive his he's going to drive his, he's going to form his own team and drive the number ninety nine Ford next season. Third turns one and two. Here comes McIntyre. Zach Rogers gets into it in number one car. Mac, er, he's in third position. Matthew's in fourth. <clears throat> Off turn number four they come here. Coming down now for three laps remaining. <clears throat> Margin is 26 hundredths of a second between the front two cars here between the 31 and 17. We'll check the margin again coming in the next time line next time by. See if Levi's closed up at all here as they, as they go to into turn number three. McIntyre's right there. Two laps remaining. 
And it's 2,200 of a second, so it's not going to cut it, though. 400 a lap. He just hopes for Osborne to make one little slip, though, and McIntyre's by him. Come off turn number four, they come. They'll be the white flag this time by for Joshua Osborne. Will it be him or Levi McIntyre in victory lane here today? As they also, as off the fourth turn, turn, they come. White flag! Does McIntyre have anything? Off turn number two, they come. Osborne keeping it smooth as they come off turn number sec of the sec of the second turn. In the turn number three, they come here. McIntyre tries to make one last ditch effort through turns three and four. He's not going to make a move. Off turn number four, the Subway 500 belongs to Joshua Osborne. He wins at Phoenix. <coughs> it is the first time Joshua has won on this racetrack here. Levi McIntyre comes home second. Zach Rogers with a third place run. Kyle Menthes misses the entrance to Pitt Road. He will come home in fifth. Seth Cole ends up getting fourth in this race here today. <coughs> so 33 races in the books and one more to go. And it would be Homestead for the 40 Go Boost 400. Rest of the finishing order for here. Benjamin Miles comes home in six. Jessica Shelton, she's going to get a points harvest here going into this race, coming into Homestead. She comes home seventh. Eighth will be Jackson Haywood. Ninth will be Johnny Gardner. Tenth will be Charles Sanford. Jesse Turner, eleventh. Twelfth will be uh, Cat Batson. Thirteenth, Nathan Hudson. William Brock, fourteenth. Fifteenth will go to Matt McIntyre. Christian Russell, sixteenth. Seventeenth will go to Quentin Moore. Uh, good finish, a pretty good finish considering what he went through. Um, Ryan uh, Cole Deaver, 18th. Ryan Brommer and Paul Minnick, the, the finishing uh, top 20. Then it's Gene Sanford coming home 21st. Then the rest of the finishing order, Dylan Poti matches his car number, finishing 22nd. <coughs> Henry Sanford, Mitchell Collins, Adam Garcia, Jacob Thibodeau, Matt Haas, Mike Becker, Wade Brummer, Phil Parker, and Rob Evans was the last two cars on the lead lap. In 30th and 31st positions here. Cars that were finished a lap or more down. Jay Jefferson, 32nd, and Alex Miller, 33rd. <coughs> Out of the race were Jordan Anderson, Nathan Orman, Dylan Young, Keith Batson, Zachary Fitzwater, Kev Shearer, Ryan George, and Laura Chung. Were the cars out of the race for Keith Batson? That's pretty much just going to about finish his chances for uh, any chance he had of trying to, stay, trying to catch the leaders in the points. And that pretty much is about that puts a dent and that just that pretty much puts a grit in his, his pretty much puts a grit in his um, his chances for a second championship. Averaging 114.769 miles per hour, Joshua Osborne dominates today at Phoenix International Raceway here in the Subway 500 as he gets his second victory of the season. If you like if you like what you see if you like what you see what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the in the series in the CR Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything on this channel. We got interests. We got gaming videos. Whatever the person on the end of the series, Seth, Seth Cole desires for his channel. Be sure to check out Seth's Thor Cell Cup series also on this channel too. And um, which is in full swing. I guarantee you Seth does his races a lot better than what I do as well too. And you will not regret checking his series out though it's, as well too. Seth's been doing it for, well, probably longer than I have. So that will do it here today at Phoenix Center. For now, this is James Qualls. This, this has been a production of the end of the CRA. Offline racing at its best. We will see you at the at Homestead Miami Speedway for the for the season finale.